Ah, and we are live! Welcome back to Takes by Fans. We have a great show for you today, as always. Be a part of the conversation and follow me at Twitter, at Takes by Fans, and come out and watch live Monday through Friday at twitch.tv slash Takes by Fans. Noon Eastern, Monday through Friday, come and watch us live. Be in the comments there. Let me know what you guys are thinking live. Alrighty, well, today we are going to resume our NBA refresher with the Miami Heat and the Boston Celtics. Um, we'll get into that. Um, they are the third and fourth seed currently in the East. Eight games remaining. Two game difference between the third and fourth seed. So we'll see. Do they flop? Do they stay the same? Uh, playoff positioning is going to be interesting uh, in the playoffs or yeah, in the in the bubble playoffs because everybody's going to be wanting wanting to face that Nets team, um, who are probably going to be the A seed, who is pretty much already locked up with uh, the Bucks getting the one seed. But you want to get that good team that didn't send all of its players to uh, Orlando due to maybe health reasons or concern reasons. Um, so playoff seeding is going to be a huge advantage for teams. Um, so we will look into that. But before we do, y'all, it's back. It's back, baby. Yes, sir. Oh, boy. We got some scrimmages today yes sir eight teams will be scrimmaging for the first time head-to-head -head. nba players going against nba players in semi-real co competition you know the the scrimmage it's nothing great you know but hey it's something it's competition it's competitive it's the nba it's the best of the best going against the best of the best and it's gonna be live oh yeah um it's uh, got four games today on NBA TV and NBA League Pass. So nothing, you know, on national television. I mean, these are scrimmages, y'all. You know, don't expect too much. Um, but we will break these down tomorrow. I'm assuming we're going to get tons of highlights. Um, so we will report on that tomorrow. We cannot wait. Oh, yeah. It's back, y'all. Um, I wouldn't expect... Uh, big name players getting too many minutes, um, just a scrimmage, just get your legs back, your conditioning back. We've already had players um, that are injured from practice. I mean, Rondo, his first practice back, freaking broke his hand. So <laughs> don't expect too much just yet, just yet. Maybe early next week before the first games on Friday. Um, but yeah, the first scrimmage, don't expect too many minutes. And we also got a look at those screens, y'all. We were wondering what they were going to put on the screens, possibly being um, the scoreboard. But it could be something, maybe for like the home teams with their logo, because Miami Heat tweeted this, and oh boy, does it look fucking sick. Let's take a look. With their Vice theme, the, uh, the neon pink and blue, getting their graphics ready for the screen. I mean, look at this, y'all. Look at this. And this is going to be, you're going to see this on TV, yo. Your hand. I'm going to wait for it to scroll. Like, this is what we're going to see on TV. Like, this is going to be great. Maybe they put the score in the middle and then they have these graphics on the side. But we're going to see that those large ass screens, yo. Oh, hang on. They put the scoreboard right here. All right. So, this is what we're going to see on TV. They got the scoreboard here. It's going to probably look like this they might move this down to the bigger screen and just have um like right here um their decals and the vice um all that stuff um on the smaller scroll by but this is what we're gonna see we're gonna get the players on the court we're gonna get the whole new game in our face obviously and uh scoreboard and some decals of the team's logos and all that and it's gonna <laughs> Damn, it's looking good, yo. This is going to look great on television. I can already tell. This is going to be great, y'all. So bright. So big. Literally taking up. So imagine like what you see on a regular game. Um, instead of all those fans, it's just going to be screen. It's just going to be screen. It's going to be great. I think it's going to work real well on television. Um, it's bright. It's big. It's 
uh, high definition. Uh, it's going to be great. I cannot wait. Hopefully we get our first look um, at it with the scrimmages today. Um, it might not do too much for the scrimmages, but uh, maybe we get our first full look at the entire court, the entire big screen at the scrimmages today, starting at 3 o'clock Eastern on NBA TV. The teams, Magic Clippers, Wizards Nuggets, Pelicans Nets, and Kings Heat. The entire Nets team will be playing because they all need the uh, they all need the reps. <laughs> they all need the reps. But yeah, alrighty. So let's get into our NBA refresher. We are talking three and four seeds today in the Eastern Conference. As a recap, we have Washington finishing ninth out of the playoffs. We've got the Nets at eight. The Magic at 7, the Pacers at 6, and the 76ers at 5. So we'll look at, so right now the Heat, they have a, Celtics actually have a two-game lead above the Heat for the three seed. We'll see if they flip or if they stay the same. We will first look at the Heat. The Heat, Miami Heat, 41 and 24 record. Jimmy Butler is getting it done, being a true leader, a true number one. Um, everyone before he went to the heat said, we cannot play with this man. Um, he's just so hard to play with. And, uh, well, he's proven them wrong. Cause he's got, he's leading this team 41 and to a 41, 24 record. D is everybody in Orlando? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. The starting lineup isn't going to matter too much because this team is so versatile. It's so much plug and play. Multiple players starting in one position but just finish the game and finish the finishing the game in other positions. They're kind of deep, y'all. They got Andre Iguodala, um, such a great presence, uh, leadership veteran, and uh, he's just going to bring it in the playoffs. We all know this. We know he's going to go prime time in the playoffs. He doesn't need to worry about you know, the regular season. We know what he does. Great defender, great two-way player. He'll bring it up for the playoffs. Um, but yeah, everybody's there. We have Kendrick Nunn and uh, Bam Adebayo, who just arrived yesterday in Orlando. So they are currently quarantining. Um, they are, they, they're not on a game. Are they on a game tonight, a scrimmage? Yes, they are. So, um, so they will not be playing. They haven't even practiced yet. They're in the quarantine. Uh, 36 to 48 hours, they say. They have to return two positive COVID tests in a 24-hour period before they can even um, join the team. So um, they kind of held off. They said it was for uh, private reasons. So one could assume that it was that they already had COVID. Um, but hey, we will respect their privacy and try not to uh, dive too deep into the reasons why they held off so late on joining. We know that Russell Westbrook just came back and cleared uh, cleared quarantine. He came so late because he did he did uh, test positive for COVID, um, so that's why he was so late. And also, Derek Jones Jr., he tested positive for COVID before the Heat even went to Orlando. Um, he's been there. He's good. So the whole, all 17 players are there in Orlando, ready to go. They will be ready to go by the time that the actual game start. Kendrick Nunn, uh, Bam Adebayo, 48 hours from yesterday. So we're looking at Friday. Is that right? What's today? Wednesday? What is today? Yeah, Wednesday. So looking at like Thursday, Friday, though, they'll be good um, if they clear, which, uh, you know, I'm hoping they do, hoping they do. So the starting lineup pretty much, um, I think, I think it will be Kendrick Nunn at the point, uh, Duncan Robinson, Jimmy Butler, Derek Jones Jr. And uh, Bam Adebayo, I believe uh, those will be the starters. If for some reason they don't clear quarantine or whatever, you probably uh, plug uh, Goran Dragic and at the starting point and probably miles Leonard, uh, at the, uh, at the center. So, yeah. So let's take a look at their schedule. Are these 41 wins against good teams? That's what we need to know. Or are they beating scrubs? You know, like some other teams that we have, uh, looked at previously. Let's get into it. Opened up the season. Oh yeah. Great wins. Memphis in Milwaukee. Wow. Great start. 
Great start. They lose their first game against Minnesota. Okay. But then they go on a three-game winning streak. Two games against Atlanta. And then they're beating the Rockets. Okay. They're beating good teams, y'all. They're beating good teams. Rockets, Milwaukee, Memphis. Good wins. Uh, lose against Denver. Okay. That's a good team. Uh, win against Phoenix. They lose against the Lakers. They only put up 80 against the Lakers. Yikes. Yikes. But early in the season, let's see if they figure it out. Um, and then a great win stretch here. What is that? Five in a row? Nice. Detroit, Cleveland, Pelicans, Cleveland, Chicago. Okay, so not against great teams, but hey, five-game win stretch. We, we, we will take it. Lose against the 76ers. Okay, you probably should have won that game. Um, not even competitive. Oh, my God, not even competitive. That's by what, 27? Holy cow. Yikes. What happened here? What happened here? Yeah, Jimmy Butler played. Oh, my God. Look at the starting. Look at the starters. What are we doing here, folks? What are we doing? 12 by Adebayo. 11 by Jimmy Butler. Miles Leonard putting up nothing. Uh, Kendrick Nunn with six. And, uh... Duncan Robinson with four. The starters did not get it done. Look at the bench, though. Yes, sir. Uh, what is that? Tyler Hero. Nice 20 points. Goran Dragic, 18. Outscoring the starters. Um, starters. Jesus. Jesus. Could not get it done that game. Could not get it done in Philadelphia. Um, went against Charlotte. Cleaned it up the following game. But then they lose against Houston. Okay, so they split it at Houston so far rally off three wins golden state brooklyn toronto that's a good win it went into overtime lose against boston Ooh, yikes that you know that's who they're trying to beat for that th third seed so um and i think they do play each other in the the regular uh eight game season that's going on um wins against chicago washington atlanta lose against the lakers not again dang it Dang it! They put up more than 80 points that time, so hey, silver lining there. Kind of going win-loss, win-loss here a little bit. Um, win against Dallas, lose against Memphis. They beat the 76ers. Great. Revenge game. You worked out what you needed to work out, and you got it done. Uh, New York, Utah, finally beat Utah. Ooh, this is a good three-game stretch here. Utah, Indiana, and Philadelphia all wins. Perfect. That's what we love to see, y'all. That's what we love to see. Later in the season, you're getting the wins. Getting the good wins. Um, lose against Washington and, or, and Orlando. Yikes. Beat Toronto again. Well done. Portland. Indiana wins. Solid wins there. Two bad losses against the New York teams. The sorry-ass New York teams. San Antonio. Oklahoma City. Some dubs. Kind of trading two for two here. Lose against San Antonio, win against Sacramento, win against Washington, lose against LA, the Clippers, is that their first meeting with the Clippers? They lose, it was, tis truly unfortunate. Take a look at this uh, close game, five point game. Jimmy Butler, what did you do? What did you do? Kawhi Leonard went off for 33. Could you put up 33? You couldn't. Unfortunate. Put up 20. Starters had a decent day out. Uh, Miles Leonard, 7 points. And only 2 rebounds. Not very good. Not good. Bench had... Uh, Alright. Alright. Kelly Olenek with 19. Well done. Dion Waiters, who's no longer on that team. 14 points. And they lose to the Clippers at home. Not very good. They had the Vice jerseys, though. They did have those Vice jerseys on that game. They were feeling themselves, and they still could not get the win. Looking good was not really playing good. Three-game losing stretch coming off that Clippers against Sacramento and Portland. Oh, boy. This, uh, this ain't good. Down the stretch late in February... It's really where, where you want to find your footing toward the end of the season. And uh, they did not do so good here. Loss against L.A., Sacramento, Portland, Utah, Atlanta, Cleveland, Minnesota, and only beat Cleveland and Golden State. But they try to get back on track here. A little four-game win stretch against Dallas. Nice. Brooklyn, Milwaukee. Okay, so they've got Milwaukee's number, y'all. 
they faced them one, two, two times. Two times. They faced them twice and won both times. They have Giannis's number. That's going to come in handy. They'll pretty much, the Bucks will pretty much be at the Eastern Conference Finals. So if the Heat can get there, they know how to beat them. Let's take a look at this. Uh, they beat them bad. They beat them bad. Yikes. Was Giannis not even playing? He was playing. He only put up 13. What did Jimmy Butler do? 18. So not so much better, but they had uh, points all around. Bench was putting up the points. Three bench players in double-digit points. Yes, sir. The team is versatile. They're pretty deep, y'all. I think this is a pretty good deep team. Yeah, our Iguodala playing 12, 13 minutes. Three points. I think he'll step up big time in the playoffs um, when the uh, pressure is high. The guy can get it done. He's proven that he can be a great defender um, in the NBA championships with uh, the Warriors a couple years ago. So he still got it. Um, and yeah, I think he can still get it done. I think he can still get it done. He's like 36, I think. 35, 36. Still getting it done. All right, our ends the season two or one and two, not very good. Lose against New Orleans in Charlotte. They're losing against some bad teams, yo. Losing against some bad teams. All right, let's count the quality wins from January. All righty, Toronto quality win, Portland quality win, Indiana quality win, OKC quality win. What do we got? What do we got? Orlando. I'll count it as quality just because they're in the playoffs. Twice. I'll count one of them. I'll count one of them. So we're at uh, five, and then you add six for Philadelphia. I'll count them both, y'all. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I'll count both of those Orlando games. They're at seven quality wins so far. And Dallas quality win, Milwaukee quality win, Orlando again quality win. So that's 10 quality wins, yo. That's not too bad. Not too bad. That's some bad losses. Sacramento, that's a bad loss. Uh, Atlanta, bad loss. Cleveland in overtime, bad loss. Charlotte, bad loss. So a couple bad losses, but 10 quality wins, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, let's look at their highlight tape real quick, and then we will get into their remaining eight-game schedule and see what we got going on there. So here we go. The uh, the pre-cancellation of the season. Miami Heat. Let's see what they got. 41 wins. How well do they look? Dragic to Derrick Jones Jr. That man can get up. <laughs> Throws it in there. Yes, sir. Well done. Bad pass there. But the defense. The defense. Fantastic. Chris Silva. Chase down. Doing his best. LeBron. Clean block. Clean. Oh, he does it again. He does it again. Chris Silva, and then they're out. They're trying to leak. No, they don't leak. They don't leak out. Oh, that's not Silva. That's, uh, that's Bam out of Bay. Oh, baby. Yes, sir. Pin that shit. He's doing his best LeBron impression. Got some good LeBron impersonators on this Heat team. Yes, sir. Kendrick Nunn. Glad to have you back in Orlando. Boom. Boom. Miles Leonard getting it done. Blocks on deck on this squad, y'all. Blocks on deck. They got the height. The defense is there. Again, everybody's getting in on the fucking blocks. That's Bam out of Bayo. Again. Get that shit out of here. Heat destroying the Rockets. Kendrick to Silva. Nicely done. Oh, yeah. That man can get up. That man can get up. Heat up four in the third. Bingo. Bango. Is that Dragic? Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Gordon Dragic, 4-3, deep at the end of the third. Buzzer, beater. Love it. Oh, my God. Kendrick Nunn off the bounce. Jimmy Butler passes it off. Miles Leonard finishes. Great ball movement. Great sight by Jimmy Butler. Distributes and scores. The man can do it all. Leading this Heat team. Well done. Well done. Everybody can block. Everybody can dunk. Everybody can score on this team. Silva again. Not Silva. Bam out of Bayo. Again. Again. Ooh, bad pass there. But it's all right. Kendrick Nunn on the defense, y'all. That's against Russell Westbrook. Rip. Got to gotta dunk that. Russell, come on. Can't be uh, laying that up <laughs> too lightly there. Pass out for the win. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. A team full of hitters. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who is that? Who was that? Why can I not find it on my notes? There it is. Tyler Hero. Playing Hero. Yes, sir. Little lay and leak. Leak and lay there. Chris Nunn. Damn, he can get up. That's a point guard, y'all. Ooh, boy. This team is exciting. And look at those fucking jerseys, y'all. Look at these jerseys. That's what they were going for on the uh, those screens that we showed earlier. Damn, I hope they bring those jerseys out in Orlando. Because, ooh, those are nice. Unfortunately, we're not getting that nice-ass court they're playing on. But, uh... I guess the jerseys in the screen will do. Jimmy Butler with the deflection from LeBron's pass. He gives it up to none. That's none again. Jimmy Butler to none. Oh, my God. Exciting ball here. That gets the crowd hype. Unfortunately, there will be no crowd in Orlando. But it will get the bench hype. Look at the bench. It's hype. Miles Leonard. Yes, sir. Bingo. Down the lane. Jimmy Butler, I believe, found the dish. Yup. Team's exciting, y'all. This team is exciting. Oh my God! Derek Jones Jr. Absolutely incredible here. Holy cow. I gotta watch that again. Holy moly. Jeez, he can't even believe it. He's like, what the fuck did I just do? Y'all just saw that shit? Once again, once again, looking good, feeling good, playing good. These jerseys bringing out the best. Oh, my God. Lob City has come to the heat. Absolutely incredible. Again. Oh, my God. Is that Jer Derek Jones Jr. again? Jeez. Holy cow. Who threw that lob? I can't really really tell who threw that lob. But holy cow. There it is. That's none. It's fucking none, yo. That guy can fucking play. Distributor, scorer, dunker, playmaker, highlight maker. And then Derek Jones Jr. your... <laughs> He dead. He dead. The bench is dead. Yo, they can't believe it. Oh, my God. Oh. I thought none was going to throw down. Goran Dragic for the win. Oh, my God. What a game that is. Absolutely incredible. I thought none was going to lay it in there. That was fucking, that was spectacular. That reverse layup, unfortunately, didn't fall. But they keep at it. Dragic ends up with the ball and uh, gets the game winner.
Boom. Throw it down big. Yes, sir. Adebayo. They're down two here. A great steal. Oh, my God. Tyler Hero playing Hero Ball again. The man is clutch. The man is motherfucking clutch. They got shooters out here in Miami. They've got people with ice in their veins in Miami. Great steal. Way not to foul. Jimmy Butler, Derek Jones Jr. Great defense. Hero is like, hang on, I can shoot. Let me shoot. Let me win this fucking game, y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, boy. This team. Oof. This team's exciting, yo. I can't wait. Dragic. De Silva. Yes, sir. Fred Van Vliet. You're too small to be jumping for that. Come on. Not even close. Silva is there. Oof. Getting blown out by the Magic here in the fourth. Yes, sir. Out of bay. Oh, the, the moves, the quickness, and then the fucking finish. Against Mobamba. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here they go. Big lead against the Heat. Or, big, big lead against the Blazers. Throw it up. Adebayo throws it down. Damn, they had 62 points in the third quarter. Or second quarter. Oof. The team can score a lot of points, but then they also, like, don't score a lot of points and get blown out. Kind of a little hit and miss. When they're off, they're off. But when they're on, holy cow, look out. Adebayo again. None with the dish, the lob. Adebayo. We've got fucking lob city all over the place here. Love to see it. The man. Oh, I was going to say, does Adebayo have a fall away game too? And that's Derrick Jones Jr. Just, oh my God. Dude, this guy is absolutely incredible. Holy cow. God damn. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Holy shit. Holy shit. I forgot about Derrick Jones Jr., y'all. That fucking three-month break that we've been on. No Derrick Jones Jr. highlights. Can you believe we've gone three months without some Derrick Jones Jr. highlights? I cannot. I cannot. He's going to make up for it in these eight games, too, and in the playoffs. The man's going to go wild. He's got three months of put-back dunks to make up for. Is this out of Bayo clutch? Is this out of Bayo clutch? Everybody on this team is clutch. Everybody's got the clutch gene here. What a pass. Inbound by Gordon Dragic, I believe. Yup, Gordon Dragic. Inbound lob. Out of Bayo. He's too big. You can't stop that. Jeez. Jeez. Game tying dunk inbound. About two seconds left. Absolutely incredible. Who is that? Who is that? I don't even think I have him on my roster. What the heck? What the heck? <clears throat> Look at that screen by Adebayo. The pick, the roll, the dish, the finish. Beautiful. That's how you draw it up. Oh, I don't know about that. That looked like a travel to me, but hey, they didn't call it. And who finished? Who else? Who else but Adebayo, baby? Dunk on the Clippers team. Whew. Leaking out. Who's getting the block? Oh, great block. Kelly Olenek, well done. Who was that? 
Who is this? Oh, out of bail. <laughs> out of bail, obviously. Come on. Whenever you say who is that, it's out of bail. Out of bail. Out of bail. Damn. Damn. This guy better have been getting love. I don't remember hearing his name too uh, too much during the when the season was actually playing out. He better get the recognition he deserves in this in the bubble. Oh my God! When you got Derek Jones Jr. and Adebayo on the breakaway, <laughs> look out! Just stop! Just back off! Just back off! Look at that! Oh my God! Brought that shit all the way back. Man, man, Adebayo, <laughs> Adebayo, y'all just got Adebayo, baby. Unfortunately, they're losing that game. <laughs> Not good, but hey, Adebayo's getting his. He's like, did y'all not know? Did y'all were y'all not watching tape? I do this. Adebayo again. Too big. Body the him. Body them. I'm trying to think of that man's name. I can't off the top of my head. Damn it. Ooh. Silva. Haven't seen him in a while. He's back. Drogic pick roll lob. <laughs> Derek Jones Jr. <laughs> Derek Jones Jr. Off the pick and roll. Oh my god. Look at that. Absolutely that con that concentrate oh oh my god oh god is he good is he all right can't be can't be losing Derrick Jones Jr. a little bit of a wild lob ooh 360 tip hey we'll take it right we'll take it oh yeah Kelly Olenek oh I thought he was about to throw it down get in the game young fella we got dunkers out here. Everybody can score. Everybody is clutch. Now let's take a look at the remaining schedule. Let's see what they're finishing here. Let's see. I'll mark it. Let's see what we got. Do they have an easy schedule or is it tough? Let's take a look. They are currently the fifth seed, two games out. No, they're yeah, the fourth seed. Fourth seed, two games out from the third seed. Which, uh, if they do get the third seed, I've got them facing the Pacers. But let's take a look where they uh, finish. Go along here. All right, Denver. Ooh, tough. Damn! Oh, my God. They've got a tough-ass schedule. Holy cow. Holy cow. Denver, Toronto, Boston, Milwaukee. That's their first four games. Holy shit. Indiana twice. Oh my god. They have no gimmies besides Phoenix. Wow. Wow. This is going to be tough. Holy shit. This is going to be tough. Good thing they're already secured a playoff spot. That's all I'm saying. Let's see. All right. At Denver. Damn. This is tough, yo. What what do they do against Denver this season? Let's take a look at that. I don't think they beat them. <laughs> no, they did beat them early in the season. I do believe. I do believe. What do they do against Denver? Nope. <laughs> Their one time loss was it close? No. <laughs> no, it wasn't close. They only put up eighty nine points. <laughs> Uh, it's on TV. Oh boy, that's gonna be exciting to watch, and we will be watching it here live. Takes by fans. Switch.tv slash takes by fans. Come join. Um, I gotta give them the loss here. I gotta give them the loss. I'll give them the win against Toronto. We'll hold off judgment against Boston because we're looking at them. Give them the win against Milwaukee. They have their number. Give them the win against Phoenix. Um, I'll have them split against Indiana, and I've got them beating OKC. No, I don't have him beating OKC. I can't have him beating OKC, can I? Ugh. Toronto win. Milwaukee win. Phoenix win. Indiana win once. OKC win. And then 
Boston is up in the air. So five and two at the current moment. I've got them going. Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot of wins. I'm kind of going against my theory that no te- that winning five games is going to be tough. Ugh. Toronto, Milwaukee, Phoenix, Indiana once. Yeah, I mean, that's looking good, right? That's looking believable. But they get, I think they did lose against, no, win against Toronto. Win against Toronto. Two wins. Yeah, I mean, they've beat them. They can beat them. That team's looking good. We just watched them. They're looking good. Yeah, I, I can say 5-2 and two confidently so far. We'll look at Boston and then compare and choose a definitive winner. 5-2. and 5-2. and two. Not bad. Not bad. Very good, actually. Um, for eight games coming off a three-month hiatus. Oh, boy. Can the Celtics live up to that? I don't know if they can. I don't know if they can. They're kind of exciting, though. Um, Kyrie lists Celtics, but still doing what they do. 43 wins. Fantastic. No Kyrie, which um, which is a good thing for Boston because that man was doing nothing for the team, brought nothing to the team. Kyrie's a great player. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely fantastic talent, but as a leader, not so great. He's a fantastic two. I, I've been saying it. I stand by it 100%. Kyrie is a fantastic two. Nobody doubts the man's talents or skills, but a leader, a number one in the league, he cannot do it. He cannot do it. Um, him and LeBron worked absolutely fantastic together. Him and Kevin Durant will work absolutely fantastic together, but him trying to lead a Boston Celtics team, not so good. Not so good. And they got a decent replacement in Kemba Walker. Thank God somebody got Kemba Walker out of Charlotte, right? Because, oh boy, he had some miserable years down there by himself. A An <clears throat> incredible story in college. Kind of ruined his early years in Charlotte, but now he's with a fantastic team in Boston. And uh, they're going to get it done. They'll get it done. This season or next season, or the season after, but this team will get it done. No doubt. Alrighty, everybody's healthy with the Celtics. Um, everybody's there. Um, the the, uh, the lineup's pretty much going to be the same as it was for the regular season. Nothing re- Nothing's really going to change. Kemba Walker, Zaren Healthy, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Gordon Hayward, Daniel Thies, um... I thought like Ennis Cantor started, but uh, no, he's a uh, second string kind of coming off the bench. So we'll look at that. Um, see if he ever started uh, this season. Because Ennis Cantor is good, y'all. I'm about Ennis Cantor. Big Ennis Cantor guy. All right. 43 and 21. Let's look at the schedule. See what they got. <clears throat> Any good wins. Look at this fucking opening schedule. God damn. Unfortunately, lost against the 76ers opening day. All right. All right. We can give them a break because they rallied off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten straight wins. Absolutely fantastic. Wins against Toronto, Milwaukee, Dallas. Damn. Great wins. Great wins. They can beat the best because this team is fucking good. And Brad Stevens, oh boy, is he a fantastic coach. Is he a fucking fantastic coach? Doesn't have the talent Steve Kerr quite does, but damn, the man is great. The man can coach, no doubt. No doubt. You know you're not that great of a leader when Brad Stevens doesn't really like you on the team, Kyrie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Somebody has to say it. Somebody's got to rein you in a little bit, Kyrie, and I'll be the one. I'll be the one to do it. All right, moving on. Moving on. We're not talking about Kyrie. We're done. We're done. He's not even in Orlando. We don't have to talk about him for the rest of the season. He left his team, jumped ship, waiting for Kevin Durant to come back. Alrighty, so after that 10-game win stretch, an unfortunate uh, loss against Sacramento at one point, but hey, you just rallied off fucking 10. 
10 straight. Ooh, two big losses here. Close games, though. Very close games. Overtime loss against LA and a four-point loss against Denver. Let's take a look at this LA game real quick. See who the starting lineup was. Uh, no, yeah, Thies. Thies is the starter. Okay. Cantor coming off the bench. That's a great bench player. No doubt. No doubt. Um, team with Jason Tatum doing Jason Jason Tatum things. 30 points. Fantastic. What did Kawhi Leonard do? 17. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. They had some help from the bench. Lou Will. Uh, yeah, they're f so deep. Oh, my God. When we get to the Clippers, oh, boy. Their team restart or team refresher. They are deep as fuck, y'all. Deep as fuck. Um, bench didn't really help them out. That's really why they ended up losing. Jason Tatum tried to carry the load. Um, and that's really it. <clears throat> Alrighty, moving on. Moving on. Two bad losses. Not too bad because they were close games. But teams that we need to see you to beat if you want to even have a chance at a championship. Alrighty, a nice... No, another good stretch here. Wins against Sacramento and Brooklyn. Lost against Brooklyn in the back-to-back. -back. Um, but then you rallied off some good wins against Miami and Denver. And uh, then they got to Indiana and lost. And lost against the 76ers again. Oh, boy. The size down low. Maybe just a too much for the Celtics. But good wins after that loss against Dallas and Toronto. Lose against Toronto a couple days later. Um, rally off three straight. Sh uh, Charlotte, Atlanta, Chicago. Nothing too great there. Lose three straight against Washington, San Antonio, and Philadelphia. No. No. Close-ish. No, not even close games. One close game against Washington. But uh, some blowouts in uh, San Antonio. And once again, cannot get... Cannot beat the uh, the 76ers. Where are they? I've got uh, the 76ers at 5 and the Celtics at 3. So the Celtics better hope they don't drop to 4. Or it's going to be a 4 game sweep, unfortunately. <clears throat> they cannot afford to fall to the 4th seed. They cannot match up well. They do not match up well against the 76ers. Alright. Uh, wins against New Orleans and Chicago. Losses against Detroit, Milwaukee, and Phoenix. Oh, but they beat the Lakers. Oh, great win. Great win. Let's take a look at the lineups. What were people doing? LeBron played, put up 15. Not very great. Jason Tatum putting up 27. Kemba Walker doing his thing. 20 points. Well done. Seven assists. Jalen Brown adding 20. And Ennis Cantor coming off the bench with 18. Very well done, Ennis. Yes, sir. All around the bench had a very good day. Everyone's getting buckets. Everyone's eating. Um, and unfortunately, LeBron only put a 15. But he also did have 13 assists, so goddamn. <laughs> okay, what else do we got? What else do we got? After that Lakers game, where was it? I passed it. After that Lakers game, continuing their win streak against Memphis and Orlando. But then they lose against New Orleans. But they say, we don't care about that game because we're rallying off more, more wins. Miami, good win. Philadelphia, they finally did it. Yes, sir. Let's take a look. Let's celebrate it. Finally, was able to beat Philadelphia. Maybe it's not a four-game sweep. Maybe it's 5-2. Or 5-2. 4-1, 4-2. Four, what happened? What did you all do differently? Let's see. Uh, who went off? Jalen Brown went off. Yes, sir. Taco Fall getting in for the game a little bit. Three minutes, two points. They were like, hey, y'all got sides? We'll bring in uh, Taco Fall. What y'all think about that for, th for three minutes? Uh, Ennis Cantor didn't play. Oh, no. Is Ennis Cantor the reason why they can't beat Philadelphia? Hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, uh, Jason Tatum, 25 points. Gordon Hayward, come on, four points. What are we doing here? What are we doing? But a great win all around. Bench did, uh, did okay. Uh, Wanamaker and, uh, Ojeli putting up double digit points. Well done. Good 20 point win there. 
Good 20-point win there. Finally was able to overcome it, and they kept that win streak going. Atlanta, Orlando, Atlanta, OKC. Then they got to Houston and lost. Okay, the small ball gave them a little bit of a trouble. A little bit of trouble. But then they go and face LA again. Another overtime game. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Can you imagine a Boston Celtics Clippers finals? Ooh, that would be interesting. Every game so far has gone to overtime. They match up well. Uh, players are putting up points. Let's celebrate these points people are putting up because 141 to 133 people were getting buckets. Let's take a look. Uh, Kawhi Leonard, 28. Lou Williams, 35. Was there any any doubt that that man would not be eating? Oh, Jason Tatum, 39. Marcus Smart, 31. Oh, boy. Two huge contributors um, for both teams. Ennis Cantor coming in with eight points. All right. Enough to get it done. All right. Yeah. So, uh, people ate. And uh, others didn't. <laughs> That's what we take away from that game. <laughs> That's what we'll take away. Um, then they go to Minnesota and win. Then they got LA. Oh, they lose by two. How unfortunate. Was it a buzzer beater? Let's see if we can find out real quick. Was it a buzzer beater by LA? And who hit it? Let's take a look. Fourth quarter. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? <clears throat> um, Anthony Davis makes free throw one of two. And then he misses. That puts him down. That puts him up two. Okay. So Anthony Davis at the line puts him up two. Marcus Smart gets the rebound. Jason Tatum offensive foul. Nah. Kind of a uh, turnover. Kind of uh, anticlimactic the last six seconds. Didn't even get a shot off. Didn't even get a shot off to try and uh, tie or win. So unfortunate. But a close game nonetheless against LA and LeBron. Uh, great win against, re rebound win really against uh, Portland and Utah. Once again, can't beat the Rockets. Lose against Brooklyn. Why are they losing against Brooklyn? What is going on? Um, win against Cleveland, loss against Utah, loss against OKC, and win against Indiana. So a little bumpy down the stretch, but kind of good down the stretch too. Kind of 50-50 down the stretch against good teams. Let's take a look at their quality win. Um, Heat had 10, right? I believe it was 10. Uh, 10 quality wins uh, from January to the end. So let's see what Boston did. What do we got? Um, Am I counting New Orleans as a quality win? No. Well, this is Zion, right? Zion was playing, or was he not? No, I think it was the end of January he came in. If Zion is not here, we're not counting it as quality. And he's not. We're not counting, counting it as quality. Unfortunate. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. L.A., Memphis, Orlando. I was counting Orlando, so I got to count it here. Uh, Miami, Philadelphia, Orlando, OKC, L.A., Portland, Utah, Indiana. All right, so they had 11. Pretty much the same. Um, we'll get into their highlights, and then we will figure out their last uh, eight games, and we will see who wins that head-to-head -head and see where they fall finally uh, at the final standings for the playoffs. Here we go. Here we go. Kemba Walker. Yes, sir. Dump it off. Bingo. Is that – what was that? Marcus Smart? No, that's not Marcus Smart. I'm bugging. I'm bugging. It is Robert Williams. The third. The third. Robert Williams. Well done. Pick and roll and dish and dunk. Inbound. Tie game. Four seconds left. It's Jason Tatum, y'all. Come on. Did you doubt the man? Did you doubt the man? Fantastic score. A true centerpiece to this Celtics team. That is all about team. That's why Kyrie did not fare so well. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I promise no more Kyrie slander. I'm sorry. I can't help myself sometimes. Jason Tatum pulls up cash, money, win, dagger, goodbye, Brooklyn, or <laughs> goodbye, Boston. We are here. Boston's hype. Oh, yeah. And the crowd goes crazy. Unfortunately, we will not get that in Orlando. 
Maybe they do something on the graphics. Oh my god. Emphatic throw down. Who's that? 43. I got uh, Javante Green. Oh yeah. Robert Williams again. Off the inbound. Doing their best Miami Heat impression. Unfortunately, it was not for the win. Just for a 20-point lead. <laughs> Just for a 20-point lead. Light work. Kemba. Yes, sir. Once again. A little roll. No pick, but a little roll. Robert Williams was able to get open. Just absolutely blowing this team out. Lob City dunk. Robert Williams again. Green to Williams. Two point dunk. Dunk. Smart drops it off to Tatum. Oh my God. Tatum just absolutely destroys Paul George. Tie game, clutch three, Jason Tatum. I mean, we've seen it already for the win. Here it is to tie it up in L.A. Damn, damn, damn. If this is the finals, I love to see it. This That series would go seven. If L.A. versus Boston in the finals, goddamn, dropped Paul, <laughs> dropped Paul George. Boy, about to break his leg again. Oof. Not so good. Not very good if you're the Lakers and Paul George. Yikes. Oh! Marcus Smart got up. No, semi Olajai that was. Never mind. Williams. The pick and roll again. Or was it just a little roll? Did he come off the pick? Yep, he did. Pick and roll finds it. Kemba Walker, true point guard. Perfect. Oh, yeah, they out. Jason Tatum. The finish. Well done. I think that was Jalen Brown. Jason Tatum. Jalen Brown, emphatic dunk. Whew. This is a true team ball, y'all. True team. Brad Stevens says, hey, we don't do that one superstar around here. This is all five guys and the bench deep putting in the work. Unselfish basketball. Kemba. He's like, oh, shit, I got to get rid of this ball. Jalen Brown's there again. Trailer. Well done. Close game against Dallas. It's Jason Tatum. Yes, sir. Put him up seven. All these guys can do it themselves, but they are unselfish, y'all. They don't care who gets the credit as long as it says W. Gotta love the way this team plays. Gotta love it. Jason Tatum here. Okay. De Kemba. Kemba! Okay, who's that? That's a uh, size, right? Yeah, these Daniel Thies starting over Ennis Cantor. Unfortunate, unfortunate for Ennis. There it is, Jalen Brown off the dunk. Ooh, is that over Nicholas Batum? Jeez, is that right? Marcus Smart. There we go. There we go. End of the end of the first puts up a three. Cash. Oh my god, another buzzer beater. This time Kemba. Oh yeah, cold blooded Kemba. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Crowd is hype. Boom. See unselfish. The second pass. And his canter getting his the dish in. Marcus Mart finds them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. These. Oh my god. Fantastic defense. Look at this. 
Trey Young, what you think you're where you think you're going, huh? Huh? That's a center guarding you good, boy. And then gets the block. Oh my god, and that was for the win. Oh wow. ISO for the win. Trey Young against Daniel Thies. Look at that. Look at that. The recovery. He's big, yo. That's a center, boy. That's like 6'11. Trey Young, you can't shoot over that. I'm a Trey Young guy, but damn. He can't shoot over that. Ooh, emphatic. Ooh, that uh, Romeo Langford. Nope. <laughs> nope. I got the number wrong. That's my bad. Javante Green again. I always think Javante Green is somebody else. Dump off but met at the rim. That's these again. Oh boy. The man's a dog on defense. I can see why he's starting over Ennis Cantor. Okay, I see it now. I apologize. I see it, Brad Stevens. You're a better coach than I. I get it. Don't have to brag about it. But there he is. Ennis Cantor inside. Yes, sir. Marcus Smart to Ennis Cantor. Coming off the bench, both of them. Feeding each other. We love to see it. Oh my God! Was that LeBron he just bodied? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my God! Jalen Brown absolutely posterizes the king, decrowns the man. Holy moly! Holy moly. Ooh, the flashy pass. We love it. There he is. Javante Green finishes at the rim. That's what that team can do, yo. Okay, a little, little uh, run into each other there. But able to... Uh, Okay, it was good defense. That's what they were showing with that highlight. Not the discombobulated uh, panic mode after it. <laughs> oh, yeah, Javante Green. Oh, boy. The dish from Hayward. Oh, my God. The clutch. The double clutch. Great defense leads the transition offense. Yes, sir. It's a complete team, y'all. If you didn't know, it is a complete team. Jason Tatum. He said, fuck it, I'll do it myself. He's like, oh, it's finally the Philadelphia 76ers. We can't beat them. Fuck it, I'll do it myself. Was that the one time they beat them? I'm going to say it was. Jalen Brown. Tatum. Freezes the defense for a second. And uh, Jalen Brown recognizes it. Gets open, finishes. All right, another Clippers game. Jason Tatum. Oh, my God. The guy is too good, yo. Cold-blooded, and he can throw it down in traffic. Strong. Yes, sir. Thies. Daniel Thies. Marcus Smart. When have we seen that? Oh, no. I was, I was mistaken. Uh, Marcus Smart and Ennis Cantor. But the takeaway is Marcus Smart is dishing it out. Dishing it out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Another dunk. Jason Tatum. Yes, sir. Up eight in the fourth. Celtics. Denied. Daniel Thies on the defense. <laughs> Look at that defender fall at the end. He saw Jason Tatum dribbling down court, and he was like, I don't even know what to do. I will just fall. They're down three here. Misses it intentionally. Gets the ball. Jalen Brown. Cash. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Oh, boy. Jalen Brown clutch. Jason Tatum. Just the, the great awareness to intentionally miss the free throw. Able to get it back somehow. James Harden. You got to hold on to that. 
Marcus Smart, a dog, getting his hand in there, popping the ball out, goes out to Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown says, hey, I'm clutch too, y'all. I know this is a team game, but I'm having my moment right here, right now. Cash money, tie game in Boston. Well done. Steal. Oh, yeah, do something flashy for us. Oh, yeah, Jalen Brown, 360. He's like, I just hit a fucking game winning th or game tying three in the fourth. Let me have some fun and show off. Marcus Smart, a dog on the defensive end. We love it. Damn, he got up. Oh, God, Jared Allen. Woof. All right, yo. All right. Boston, that was it. That was it. What they did so far that to lead to 43 wins before the season got canceled. Let's take a look at the remaining schedule and count out these wins. Let's count out the wins. Alrighty. So they've got a kind of a tough schedule too. Milwaukee. Um, I'm gonna give them a win. I want what did they do against Milwaukee this season? Let's see. Uh the one time they faced them, they got the win. Nope. They faced him twice and split. All right, I'm going to give them the win against Milwaukee, I think. I kind of liked it, how this team was playing. They're good against tough teams, down low. Um, all they really have to worry about is Giannis. And I think they can match up decently size-wise against him. Um, I'm giving no, I'm giving Milwaukee literally no credit here after uh, like all these teams in the schedule. <laughs> hey, like They're not the fucking one seed in the East or something. Damn, but this is their first game on TV, July 31st. Oh, boy, cannot wait for it. Nine days out, y'all, nine days. We can make it. We can make it. <clears throat> All righty. Do I give them the win against Milwaukee? Ugh. Maybe not. Maybe not. All right, so let's say um, wins against Portland. Let's get back to this Miami game. Let's get back to this Milwaukee game. Uh, wins against Portland, Brooklyn. They can beat Toronto. They can beat Orlando. They can beat Memphis. They can beat Washington. See, I'm giving them six wins, yo. I can't let them have the win against Milwaukee. I can't let them have it. Six and one. And then it comes down to that Miami game. Uh, I'm throwing out my theory literally out the window every time that teams aren't going to win more than five. <laughs> they have the talent to win six games here, no doubt. Um, but are they going to be fresh off the rip? That is the only thing. That is the only thing. All right, so I got to have them losing against Milwaukee. I have them beating Portland. I have them beating Brooklyn. I have them beating Toronto. I have them beating Orlando, Memphis, and Washington. That's six. Um, do they beat Miami? Let's get to that. I have them losing against Milwaukee. So six and one, and then we've got this Miami game left. Who was looking better at that highlight? Who's deeper? How do they match up? Ugh, 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 ugh. Derek Jones Jr. or Jason Tatum? Adebayo. Adebayo or Thies? Nunn or Walker? Damn, it's tough. It's tough, y'all. We didn't really even see any Gordon Hayward highlights, right? That's a little depressing. He had not having himself a season so far. Uh, all right, let's make a decision. Miami Heat versus the Celtics. August 4th, it's on TNT. We'll watch it live here. Takes by fans, twitch.tv slash takes by fans. All right, I'm saying that the... Miami Heat, baby. I got to go the Heat. I was a little more excited about what they were doing and their highlight package. They're a little more exciting. Uh, Boston, you know, it's team ball. Team ball is always, you know, not always exciting. I get it. But I'm going to go. I'm going to go Miami Heat wins that game. I got them both, the Celtics and the Heat, finishing 6-2. and two, Their final eight games. Mark it down. Um, that just means, unfortunately, for the Heat, 
uh, they have to stay at the fourth seed. Celtics, well done. Stay at the third seed. And that's exactly where you want to be because you will face the Pacers. And I think you'll have a decently easy time there. Um, probably will go five or six. But uh, Celtics shouldn't have too much trouble. Heat versus 76ers. That's going to be a good matchup. And uh, as we saw in the regular season, the Celtics are very happy that they are not going to have to face Philadelphia because uh, they kind of struggled against them. Uh, got the got to win their last meeting in the regular season, but still struggled throughout the season. Two or one and two against them, one and three against them. Um, but yeah, so the updated. Eastern Conference playoff standings, Wizards at 9, not making the playoffs, Nets at 8, Magic at 7, Pacers at 6, 76ers at 5, Heat at 4, and Celtics at 3. Alrighty, so that was our NBA refresher for today. Heat and Celtics, both looking good. Both can definitely win the East, no doubt. Uh, they've got the talent. These are the teams so far, the first two teams so far that we've been looking at in our NBA refresher that definitely can make a run. I was high on the 76ers, um, but looking at the Celtics and Heat, um, I don't think they can really beat them in a four game, like a seven game series. Um, I know the 76ers gave the Celtics a little trouble in the regular season, but um, I just think this veteran leadership from the Celtics, all team, all together, that's really going to work in Orlando, especially when you have a good head coach in Brad Stevens. Um, nobody's going, like, playing for themselves. It's all a team. I don't know if the leadership is quite there in Philadelphia to win in Orlando in this bubble experiment. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I definitely think the Heat and the Celtics are two good contenders for the Eastern Conference Championship. Uh, tomorrow we will look at the Raptors and Bucks, one and two seed, baby. Bucks pretty much clinched the one seed. Raptors will pretty much clinch the second seed. They've got a three-game lead over the Celtics. Celtics did just win six games, so as long as the Raptors win three, they'll be good, which, I mean, I'm sure they will. All right, so that's it for today. Takes by fans. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, be a part of the conversation on Twitter at takes by fans and come watch live monday through friday noon eastern twitch.tv slash takes by fans all righty y'all oh and tomorrow i mean we're gonna have highlights from these scrimmages games y'all cannot wait absolutely cannot wait um it's been great and we will see you tomorrow